Chapter 9 Rock, Minerals and Soil Important Terms Ejected, Thrown Out Compress, To Reduce or Press Something in Its Size Interact, Exchange Moss, A Kind of Plant Organic Matter, Plants and Animals Manured, To Make Fertile Decay, To Rot or Decompose Because of the Action of Bacteria Kinds of Rock Rocks are made up of one or more minerals. The type of rock depends on the quality, quantity, and arrangement of minerals in it. According to the methods involved in the formation of rocks, they can be classified into three categories, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks Igneous rocks form the base of all kinds of land, plains, mountains, and ocean beds. Igneous rocks are called fire rocks. They are formed either underground or above ground. They are formed underground when the melted rock, called magma, deep within the earth is trapped in small pockets. As these pockets of magma cool down slowly, this very magma becomes igneous rock. As these pockets of magma cool down slowly, this very magma becomes igneous rock. Igneous rocks are also formed when volcanoes erupt causing the magma to rise above the earth's surface. When magma comes above the earth's surface, it is called lava. Igneous rocks are formed as the lava cools above ground. The type of igneous rocks formed depends on the kind of minerals the magma contains and the size of mineral particles. Granite Granite is an igneous rock that is formed from magma. It is the most common igneous rock found on the earth's surface. It is composed of minerals like quartz, mica, and feldspar. Granite comes in a variety of colors depending upon the content of the feldspar. It is mainly used in the construction of buildings, statues, and streets. Basalt Basalt is formed from rapid cooling of lava near the earth's surface. It always has a fine-grained mineral texture due to the molten rock that had cooled down too quickly. Basalt is usually grey to black in color but rapidly changes to brown or rust red. Pumic Pumic is a light colored rock formed when superheated rock is violently ejected from a volcano. It has a foamy appearance because of rapid cooling. It is a stone that can float over water. Dentists use powdered pumic for polishing teeth. It is also used as scrubber for removing rough skin from the body. Sedimentary rocks Sedimentary rocks are formed by the deposition of material at the earth's surface and within various water bodies. Sedimentation is the collective name for the process that causes mineral and organic particles to settle and accumulate. Particles that form a sedimentary rock by accumulating are called sediments. Sedimentary rocks are also important sources of natural resources like coal, fossil fuels, drinking water, or ores. Sedimentary Rock Conglomerate Conglomerate is a rock that has pieces of other rocks glued together to form a large chunk. It is a sedimentary rock that can be found along beaches, rivers, and glaciers where water or ice drops them off. It is made up of pebbles and other small rock pieces. It is used for decorative purposes. Sandstone Sandstone is a sedimentary rock. It is usually has quartz in it. It is formed when grains of sand are deposited by agents of erosion like wind, rain, and water. Sandstone is used in tiles, concrete, plain sand, glass filing, polishing metal, sand blasting, and for making buildings. The famous red port in Delhi has been made up of red sandstone, limestone. Limestone rocks are sedimentary rocks that are made from the minerals which come from the beds of evaporated water bodies like oceans and from sea animals' shells. This rock is used in concrete and is an excellent building stone for humid regions. Chalks used for writing on blackboard are a type of limestone. Shale Shale is the most abundant of sedimentary rocks. Accounting for roughly 70% of this rock type in the earth's crust. 
Chains are often found with layers of sandstone or limestone. They are formed in an environment where mud, silt, and other sediments are deposited in the deep ocean floor, basins of shallow seas, and river flood plains. They are a valuable raw material for tile, brick, and pottery. Metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed when existing rock types, igneous or sedimentary, are subjected to extreme conditions of temperature and pressure, leading to change in physical and chemical condition. The process is called metamorphosis. Change of form and the type of rock formed in this process is called metamorphic rock. Slate. It is a fine-grained homogeneous rock. It is derived from sedimentary rock composed of clay or volcanic ash. It is used for making slates and blackboards. It is shiny and dark gray in color. Gneiss Gneiss is a metamorphic rock formed from granite. It has irregular bands of different colors. Marble Marble is a metamorphic rock formed from Marble is a metamorphic rock formed from limestone. It occurs in different colors and is used in the construction of buildings. The famous Taj Mahal, it has been made up of white marble stones. Quartzite Quartzite is a metamorphic rock formed from hard stone. It is found in yellow, brown, pink and red colors. It is used for making statues. Quartzite Minerals Minerals are underground natural resources. Minerals found in rocks are metallic or non-metallic in nature. Metallic Minerals Metallic minerals are those minerals which can be melted to obtain new products. Iron, copper, bauxite, tin, manganese are some examples. These are generally associated with igneous rocks. They are usually hard and have shine of their own. Minerals containing metals like copper, silver, aluminium, Iron are called ores. For example, bauxite, hematite, copper pyrite are metallic minerals or ores which are used in the extraction of aluminium, iron, and copper respectively. These metals are commonly used for making utensils, machines, furniture, wires, coins, and coaches of trains and aeroplanes. Precious metals like gold, silver, and platinum are used for making jewelry. Non-metallic minerals Non-metallic minerals are those which do not yield new products on melting. These are generally associated with sedimentary rocks. They are not so hard and have no shine of their own. Coal and petroleum are the examples of non-metallic minerals. Coal Coal is a black or brownish black sedimentary rock that is made from plants that lived and died about 100 to 400 million years ago. The energy in the coal is used as fuel. As coal derives its energy from once living plants, it is called fossil fuel. Petroleum Petroleum is a naturally occurring mineral primarily made up of hydrogen and carbon. It derives its name from the Latin words petra meaning rock and oleum meaning oil. It is called by this name because it is the mineral oil found in rocks. It can be found in gaseous, liquid, a solid state. Wells are dug deep under the ground to get crude